It's been a season of ups and downs for Manchester United and after Saturday's thrilling 3-2 win over Tottenham, they were brought crashing down to earth once again. Yes, they were dumped out of the Champions League by Atletico Madrid, losing 1-0 at home and 2-1 on aggregate. But Ralph Rangnick was not happy with the referee. I believe that there was a foul on Anthony Alanga before that, but the linesman and the referee didn't see it that way. And that's uh, why we were 1-0 down at half-time. I think we shouldn't have been 1-0 down at half-time. Uh, we were the better team in the first half. And in the second half, I don't know if the game was played for more than two minutes without being interrupted, without somebody lying on the floor. I think there were some curious refereeing decisions. I wouldn't necessarily say that were decisive. Maybe the one before they scored. But uh, I think he made it pretty easy for the referee, for Atletico. Always tough when you get out of the of the Champions League, uh, especially the way we we did. We get a good draw in Madrid, and then we play here with the fans. I don't know. It's, uh, we should win this game, to be honest. Uh, but we don't win the game, and we are out again. Another bad bad year for us. So it's very very tough. Now, this doesn't make for good reading for Manchester United fans. Since reaching the final back in 2011, United have only got past the round of 16 and the Champions League on two occasions. Rangnick believes his side just weren't a match for Atletico physically. Against a team like Atletico, who are probably the champions in, in, in that style of football, it's not so easy. Uh, so you have to break through that wall somehow, but uh, um, I don't think that we have the the most physical of all teams ourselves. I've got another one for you. How about this? For the third time only in his Champions League career when playing 90 minutes, Cristiano Ronaldo did not have a single shot on goal. United had 11 shots in the whole game, of which Diego Dallo had four and Rafael Varane had two. We didn't always take the right and best possible decision uh, when we were around their box. Uh, rather than shooting, it would have been possible to pass the ball to to, uh, to the teammate who was in a better position. We brought all the offensive players that we had on the bench in order to, to, to score the equaliser, but uh, as I said, it was difficult. So it's been a season to forget for United, trophyless once again. Their last bit of silverware coming in 2017. It all comes down to this, the Premier League and the battle for top four, and they're currently outside of that in fifth. In the league, the, 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 the situation is pretty clear. Out of those nine games, we will have to win most of those nine games. Uh, for sure, we have to win at Arsenal. Um, but uh, yeah, the only way to finish fourth at the end uh, is to win most of those nine games.